Peace, peace, family. I am Z the Empress, and I am back with um, another monthly love reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay, so um, I know I said it's for the month of August, but it can be for any, you know, any point in time. Okay, because time doesn't exist, you know. But anywho, um. Before I get into the reading, guys, I just want to thank you so much for all your likes, shares, and subscribes, and comments. Greatly appreciate it. Um, it really helps me grow my channel. Okay, so let's get into it. So what I pulled for you guys is the Two of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Page of Pentacles. And then it had the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Now, I know one thing I do know about Scorpios is that they love money okay they are about their coins period when it comes to scorpios okay if it ain't about the money like you know if they dealing with you in any type of it doesn't matter if they're dealing with you romantically um if you're a friend if you're someone that is Always around Scorpio, trust and believe. You're somewhat of a financial. You you been they benefit from you, and more than likely it's going to be financially. It doesn't even have to be all the time, but they're going to benefit from you. Trust, because I'm not going to say all Scorpios, but you know the the ones that I know like if. You, if they can't benefit off you, you're no use to them, pretty much. They're not going to be around you like that if they can't really get nothing out of you, you know. And that's not to say all, you know, because there's different types of Scorpios. Um, it depends on your other houses. But um, I know this is supposed to be a love reading, but, you know, sometimes, you know, love doesn't always be at the forefront, you know. I just go with what is presented to me and it really looks like you guys are focused on your coins right now you're not really focused on love okay i feel like you guys are really really focused on something like that has piqued your interest or something that is going to um sorry guys um, going to pique your interest that you are really focused on. You 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 guys are studying. Some of you guys might be in school. Okay, I know sometimes you want to see the cards too. Um, two of Pentacles. This is the Two of Pentacles. You may be juggling, but like when I was shuffling you you guys' cards, um, the song that started playing in my head was. Your contagious touch me, baby. Give me what you got. Okay, so you guys may be, um, somebody may be creeping, you know, somebody may be cheating on someone or juggling two people, you know, because. I feel as though, like, you may have a lot, some of you guys may have a lot going on, and you just want to have fun. You may be just, you know, having sex, you know, um, with people. You know, just get your ass and keep it moving type of energy. You know, and um, and I feel I'm I'm getting this like I'm hearing like, <coughs> excuse me, you already know what it is. Like I feel like you're being honest and upfront with these people that you're dealing with, um, with the magician. Um, I'm sorry, I I just forgot I didn't show you guys the cards, and that's the page of pentacles. But um, like I was saying. You guys are being upfront with these people that you're dealing with. You're letting them know what's up. You let 
you let them know, you know, what your expectations are with them. You keeping it real. You're not hiding anything. You know, but I feel as though you may be dealing with someone that is married or in a relationship. Or you could be in a relationship. Like, listen, I got a girl, you know, or I got a guy. I'm not leaving them for you. But we can have fun, though. I'm not saying it's right <laughs> or wrong because to each his own. But that's what I'm picking up here. This is a powerful time for, for a lot of people. But for Scorpios, I feel like this is a very um, powerful time. I feel like your money is looking good or will be looking good. A lot of green in the cards. Yeah, I mean, you got a bunch of pinnacles. But even in a magician, you know, green. Like, money, money, money. You know, um, you could be dealing with someone that's young. Very, or young-minded. Someone that's possibly well off. Um, meek. I'm getting like meek energy. Like someone that's naive. And I also, another song that was playing in my head was Yvonne. Um, I can read your mind. I know what you're thinking. I think you have mind control over this person. Like, you mentally, you know, you mentally stimulated them. Like, a mind, F-U-C-K, <laughs> you know? Um, so you've got their mind. And you know what they say. You know, once you get the mind, the body will follow. So... I feel as though you have a lot of power over this person. And they messed up. They could be messed up about you. Like, they could be, like, obsessed with you. Or in love with you. Very much in love. Or this could be you. You are the person you're dealing with. But I don't feel as though this person is aware of how powerful you are. With your how powerful your mind is. They sleep on you, Scorpio. But it's working to your advantage. You might have finessing somebody. Up out of some draws or some coins. Somebody is paying. Be you or them. But I think it's them, Scorpio. I don't think it's you. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm getting for the Scorpios. But, you know, I want to dive a little deeper, so I'm going to pull from my oracle deck, okay? I'm going to pull from energy, you know, the romance angels, and the spirits of nature's deck, okay? Oh, there goes my other wand, okay? So, creation. This 
versus the world. Ooh, the world. We got the world, Scorpio. The world. Okay. Ooh. The world card. And then you got at the bottom of the deck. Let's put it at the bottom of the deck. Man holding a coin. Yeah, y'all about y'all coin, Scorpio. Or somebody you're dealing with has money. Well, uh, but the world, maybe they're giving you the world. But let's see what the book says, Scorpio. Because I've never pulled a world card before. So let's see what it says. Expansion opening up. The man in this picture is looking out over a bay above which the beautiful spear of the earth is rotating. This card is reminding you to expand your vision and, <coughs> excuse me, template some much broader options. The world is, is wide. Um, so there's a lot, I can't even read. So there's a lot out there to consider. In the modern age of technology, this could specifically be referring to creating or expanding to a more global network through the internet or social marketing. Drawing this card could also let you know that you have unlimited resources available to you. And now is the time to think big. As they say, the world is your oyster. So get ready to gobble it up. Yeah, I feel like it's a lot of opportunity. You have a lot of opportunity and resources at this time that you can use. People, like I said in the beginning, Scorpio will not be around anyone that is not of use to them. They stay, I feel like Scorpio is one of the signs that stay true to their cause. Very, they can be very focused. You know, um, they are water signs, so... You know, sometimes they can be unbalanced at times emotionally, but um, when they're not in their feelings, they're nothing to play with, okay, when they're, when they're focused. So, yeah, the world, opportunities, and it spoke on options. Like I said in the beginning, I feel as though you guys may be juggling, but... I'm getting a sense that, you know, some of your options may not be that great and you could do better. You may think you're doing, like, you're doing better, but I think there's something more better, more greater for you. It may be time for you to switch it up. And that's why you have the magician in the present. Because it's time for you to manifest something new for yourself. A new situation, a new partner. You know, I'm getting exploring, exploring your options. Maybe you haven't explored all of your options yet. And once you explore one of your options or more of your options, I feel as though more opportunities will present themselves. Yeah, I feel as though Scorpio wants someone they can build with. You want to build with someone. I feel like, you know, this. some Scorpios are seeing relation, this relationship or, you know, the next relationship they get into, they're seeing it as like a, a partnership, like a business partnership. Not like, they're not in it for just only the love. Okay. <clears throat> like, what's in it for me besides love? You know, because love don't pay the bills. You know? Okay. All right. But, um, wait. Because you had, you also had the, um, the man holding the coin at the bottom. So, let me see. So the man holding the corn, male connection in money, health, or value. 
For men, this could indicate an aspect of yourself and your readiness to further your goals and receive increased health, money, or value in your life. Hungry. I feel as though you're hungry, guys. Greater success is on its way. Look, I said something better. When you take control of your own finances and act, this card upright can also reveal the assistance of a financial advisor or healer whom you already know or are soon to meet. This this man is helpful and may bring sage advice concerning the action you need to take. Be open to this to to this uh, person showing up and support, but also, but always turn to your own intuitive guidance to weigh the information you're receiving. This can also signify a new love interest with a wealthy man or a man from work. Boom! I said someone well off. Period. Keep your options open. Some some of you guys that are newly single, you may feel is that, you know, I'm not like down anymore. I am single again. I'm back on the prowl. You know, I thought it was perfect. I don't know how, but I'm single again. <laughs> and I'm ready, you know, to, for whatever <clears throat> type of attitude. And that's great. Okay. So, let's pull from the romance angels deck and see what they have in store for Scorpio Summer Rising Venus and Jupiter regarding love and romance. What's going on? Scorpio love your life. Scorpio like for a while you know your finances uh may have affected your love life you know and i feel like you're trying to get out of get away from that type of you know energy like that broke energy and like manifest prosperity which is a great time to do so right now all right let's see engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment would you look at that? Would you look at that, Scorpio? Hmm? Look at that. Engagement. Okay. But I did say, too, in the beginning, y'all remember when I said that um somebody could be, you could be dealing with a married person? Hmm. Someone you could, you're dealing with could be engaged or... You could be getting engaged, so congratulations. Uh, or you may be recently engaged. At the bottom of the deck, you have calling your soulmate. Um, your prayers, affirmation, and visualization help bring you guys together. Okay. So, this is for some, but not all. Okay, so, the person that you feel as though it's for you maybe with somebody else right now but you feel as though that they should be with you and not who they're with and i feel as though you want to make this person you're you're trying to see how can i make them them see that i'm the one that they need Or, you know, some, some Scorpios may, you know, be worried about if they will ever get married. But this card represents, you know, the promise of marriage in your life. Also, that card represents taking care of yourself and committing to yourself um, first before you commit to someone else. 
okay <clears throat> um what is the next card we have for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising Venus and Jupiter what else guys what else Scorpio 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 These big cards, I got off the phone good. Consider your foundation is what I got. Receive love with appreciation at the bottom of the deck. But this is the first one. Um, you are being asked to look at how committed you are to love. Wow, because the engagement card is about commitment. Um, and then receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovely um, from others is a way of showing love. Okay, that's at the bottom of the day. So let's see what consider your foundation means. <clears throat> I feel as though, before I even read what it says, I feel as though that um, some, you may be in a, in a great relationship, but right now you may not see it as great. Um, so you're thinking about leaving your person for someone else, but, um, I feel like this card is saying like, I don't think that's a good idea. I think you should stay where you are. This is the one for you. May have the grass is green on the, on the other side in them too. But um Yeah. Um this card says love means to commit without guarantees. We are we give ourselves completely in the hope that love will be be the lasting result. Love is an act of faith. Surround yourself with love and know that your life will be better for it. Some of you guys may be afraid of commitment. Um, afraid of giving yourself, giving your heart away. Afraid of being hurt again. Afraid of, the, of history repeating itself. Okay? But I gotta go, guys, because my baby's crying now. So, um... If you made it this far, I want to thank you um, for watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And once again, all is love. Peace.